Alright right, fam, we're up out here the at the, the, uh, yep. the Western Resort here in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, went through a little bit of trouble to get to this spot, but I'm glad we're here now, so we're going to enjoy this pool. Yep. Thank you, baby, for, for knowing about this. You're welcome. I don't know this, if this is a good pass or not. It's, it's a good pass. It's a good pass. This is the one I want. The one I want. Yeah. 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 Calamari. Let's see what they talking about, man. Look good. It does look good. Yeah. We said it was about the best calamari that we done had yet by far. Mm -hmm. They are good. So if you come here, man, get some fried calamari, then get into calamari. Yeah. So tender, they taste like onion rings. Yeah, they do. What kind of margarita you got? Mango. Got mango. I have a strawberry high taste. It's good. It's not yeah. super sweet. Oh, okay. Let me try mine. That's good, good. That's good. All right, guys, after our cruise, we decided to do something that we have never done before in the States. We decided to go into this app called Resort Pass. On Resort Pass, you're able to buy into these luxury resorts for a day. They have many, many options. You can buy just a resort stay where you can get a room or you can just do a resort pass where you can use the amenities. You can do a spa pass where you can use everything that's in the spa and then you can actually buy spa treatments as well. We decided just to go ahead with the basic resort pass and that gave us access to anything on the grounds of the resort. That included their restaurants, their pool, their jacuzzi, um, their gym, and even luggage storage. Now that we're on the property, let's go ahead and let's take you on a little tour. We are at the Westin Resort in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. As you can see, there are plenty of loungers for you to select from. I will say that the umbrellas for this particular um, resort pass was an extra fee so that does not come included with the resort pass um, fee that you pay they do have cabanas but they're only for particular rooms so i think if you buy one of the day rooms you may be able to get that i'm not completely sure but right here is one of the spots where you are able to order food and drinks and we took advantage of that and i will say that everything we ordered from there was superb probably the best calamari we've ever had. This resort has a catwalk that you can just walk straight on to the beach, go down the elevator and you are right there. I mean, you can't get any more convenient than that. So let's go ahead and speed you up and take you down to the beach. As you can see in the elevator, they have this cool feature where you can order lunches and they call it like a lunch locker box where you can just order on your phone and they take your food and put in a locker and you go to the locker and pick your food up. So I think that was really convenient. So as you see, we're gonna end up right on the beach. All right, we are outside. It is absolutely amazing out here. So as you can see, there is an attendant out here that's able to rent you chairs and umbrellas. This is a part of the beach that is reserved for the Westin, but those that amenity is not included in the resort pass as well. So that is an extra fee, but this part of the beach you are able to use on your resort pass because you're technically using that resort for the day. All right, so let's do one quick overview of what it was that we did while waiting for our flight back to Richmond, Virginia. I will say that we enjoyed our stay at the Westin, but we will not do it again. 
We would definitely use Resort Pass in the future, but the Westin was not a great fit for us. If you wanna hear the complete story, continue to watch our vlogs. We'll give you grave detail of what happened to us, but we will not be returning to the Westin. All right, good folks. We done left the resort and headed to the airport so we can go to Charlotte. Then from Charlotte, we're taking our black home horses home. <laughs> you ready to go home? I'm too ready to be home. Yeah, we're still ready to vacate, but we tired as I don't know what. <laughs> well, we made it home. Back to real life. <laughs> it was a lot. When I tell you it was a lot, it was a lot. But right now, I don't know if we told you all that just for us and the safety of our family and making sure that everyone that we are around remains safe, that when we landed, we were gonna take um, another COVID test. Yeah, so we're at this place called the Urgent Clinic. Yeah, I've never been here before and I actually found this on Google because CVS has nothing until midweek. Walgreens has nothing until midweek. We went to patient first who does them immediately, but there's a four hour wait, so I was in the area and I said COVID testing centers near me and this popped up. There's only four people in line and they're coming right out. It seems yeah. like they're getting it done. So I'm, it works out yeah, it works out perfectly. So we'll, we'll check in with y'all later. But I got to say this before we, before we, before we go to the next scene. Man, I had a damn good time on that cruise. <laughs> I, I ain't even going to lie. I had a good time. <laughs> and especially in Bimini, boy. Yeah, I'm, we're going back to Bimini and we're just gonna do like maybe a week. Even if we just have to settle for a weekend. Okay, he coming y'all, hold on. All right, so the guy came around and he took our license and our insurance card, which how am I gonna fill out my insurance kit if you just took it? But anyway, and he asked, did we want rapid or the PCR? Definitely want the rapid for right now. Probably will do a PCR like later on in the week, but for right now, rapid will do. But yeah, we don't have any symptoms. We're just doing this. Um, precaution. Just, yeah, just a precaution in state to remain safe. So let me fill this out. Y'all get out of my government information. 30 minutes later, we're both negative. Hey. So we do know that you have to wait like four to five days after a possible exposure. So we will be doing it again in like six days just to make sure we really are in the good. But I think we're fine. Um, we went on almost a fully vaccinated cruise. A delicious cone. All right, thank, thank you, you, sir. Indeed. Be right back. All right. And we're at Chick Fil A, and you want to know the crazy thing about it? We was on a cruise, and we really didn't eat ice cream. We ain't eat no ice cream. <laughs> so when I got home, I was like, I feel like I didn't close out my vacation properly. So I have ice cream. Hey, we, yeah, cause we used to tear ice cream up on cruise. Yeah, man. I got like a like a little bit of it, <clears throat> and I never went back to it. But yeah, I don't think we did too badly on vacation. Now, if you want to think of the fact that we've been on this plant-based right. no meat all right, journey, all right. Appreciate we it, did bro. horribly. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. And love your energy right away, brother. Oh, really? Your energy love is everything. Yeah, bro. Up, Hello. That's it, that's it man. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's you right, too, you too, man. Everywhere we go, we find them, man. Or they find us. See what happens when you put good, good energy out in the world, good energy comes back. Yeah, his energy was everything. Yeah. But we're about to go eat our food in the parking lot. Everybody uses the value city parking lot to, to eat, eat their Chick fil A. Because you can't let this get cold. What's wrong with you? Heck no. So we be back. We be back. I'm trying to press the button on this bum thumb of mine. <laughs> Y'all know I, I possibly like sprain broke my thumb, right? We'll talk about it later. All right, it's many hours later, and I was actually trying to wait for Stanley to take my official lunch break. Y'all know, if y'all been around here for a minute, he'll cook during the day. We'll eat at our desk and then we'll take a lunch and just chill out or do something else. But he's not ready and I just need to take a break. So we about to walk to the porch. So yeah, day one back at work has been interesting. I just can't seem to get with it. Like I just can't seem to just like buckle down and really like accept the fact that I'm back at work. I really just can't do it. So I'm like kind of dragging. So I know that my numbers today is probably not going to reflect the great employee that I am <laughs> because I just can't. But let me catch y'all up to speed. Like our journey back home from vacation. Thank God that our flights going to the cruise port 
smooth as can be. I mean, probably one of the best flights I've ever taken. No delays, actually we got there early. Couldn't have been a better experience. Coming back though, leaving Fort Lauderdale to Charlotte, fine. Um, yeah, crazy flight. Like the flight experience was kind of crazy. Like I was like, did he just get his pilot's license yesterday? But anyway, cause one time I felt like we were falling out of the damn sky. So then we got dropped off in Charlotte and every 30 minutes we were getting a 30 minute delay all the way up until we were supposed to pull out at eight. No, no, no. We were supposed to pull out of Charlotte like at seven something, I think. We didn't end up pulling out of Charlotte until like 11, 11 at night because they didn't have pilots. And y'all know it's been a pilot shortage. If y'all heard why I initially canceled this cruise from the get go was because it was just like the odds were stacking against us. And the first one was the flight thing and people being canceled. It was just a lot. Well, we did experience that. But yeah, I um, am looking forward to the next vacation. I am so looking forward to whenever we can get back to normal traveling where I can get on a plane and just go to another country and do what I need to do there. I still am not ready to take that risk of getting stuck in another country with having to test to come back. Um, it's just, I mean, there's only a 50-50 chance. You know, you're either gonna be able to come back or you're not gonna be able to come back. There ain't no in between. And I'm not really, I'm not ready to take that risk at this moment. This freaking day went by super fast. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, it's like 6.30 already, man. Real uh, fast. And of course, the, the same tune, we up in the kitchen, the queen is whipping up some general so chicken and that's the, that's the rice right there. Yeah, cauliflower, fried stir fry. And I saw this at um, Weedle, so I was yeah, like, uh -huh. try that out. Let's just go ahead and try that out. It actually is a weekend meal, but we're not on our vacation vibes yet. So. Yeah, we're still there. So we're eating vacation meals. So that means you're drinking some wine? No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. I am on a... <laughs> yeah, I told Stanley. And he keeps saying, he was like, you didn't really drink on a cruise. You didn't drink as much as I thought you. I, I actually drank more than you. Yeah. Um, Because I'm one of those people, I can't have a lot of liquid on my stomach. Like, I will physically get sick. So when I feel like I got too much going on in my stomach, I'm done. So yeah, but uh, video, first video went live on today. So yeah. it kind of gives you a frame of reference of where we are in the real world. Yeah. That, yeah, Embarkation Day went live today. Embarkation Day is always like a- Chill day. Get in, yeah. rest, Get your life unpack, together. eat. So starting on day two, I know we're gonna have a good guy doing time yeah. and whatnot. But today I had my thumb all bandaged up all day long until this could come in from Amazon. And it actually feels better. And I think right. it was because that wrap just made it so that it wouldn't move as much. So I'm delaying going to the doctor. Because real talk, like I told you, I don't think it's broke. Jake is really sprained. And people was like, if you, start seeing it turn colors and all that stuff it's time to go. I yeah, ain't see seen no colors. colors, right? Nah. Uh -huh. And you ain't gotta tell me to go if I see my shit turn to colors. I know that's right. So I'm gonna have to call in the big guns to take my hair down and do something with my hair because I have a lock appointment, not tomorrow, the next day. And I can't I asked you could I take it out over the weekend, but you said since I couldn't braid it down. But yeah, yet. I need to braid. I need I need you to do something something for wrong bands or So, 
We are doing a little better. We ain't doing regular rice. <laughs> cauliflower rice. <laughs> that laugh though. All right. Mm. Let's eat. Let's go. See Lanessa ARRP bag back here? Stop it. <laughs> that is true. It is yeah, an ARRP bag. Yeah, ARRP bag. Yeah, ARRP bag. Yeah, if we you didn't know, you we know now. We had to tell y'all about that uh, one day. Yeah. You don't have to be older to get AARP. Yeah. I don't know if anybody ever told you that. Mm -hmm.